Hello, good morning, and welcome to another reading vlog. Um, today is Thursday. I did finally get started on The Lost Hero. I'm about a quarter of the way through, so um, I'm going to try and finish this today. I know I said that like if you watched my last reading vlog, I said that I was going to finish it like five different times, but we're doing it. We're finally doing it. I also started the audiobook for Spin the Dawn, so I am about halfway through it. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it. I wasn't too sure. I'm going to listen to that a bunch today. I'm going to finish this. Uh, I um, My computer's currently uploading my vlog from last week, so that's what's happening. Other than that, this is the last week of August, so from my TBR, from my August TBR, the only things that I haven't read is Spin the Dawn and the Heroes of Olympus series, so those are the only things I have to do. I have one, two, three, four, five days. Five days to read these five and a half books. So stay tuned to see what happens. Hey y'all. So, um, I saw my parents today and I actually got, um, a box of books from my uncle, who's not really my uncle, but like we call him my uncle and uh they're really cool basically he got me a bunch of really old books and like their movie pairings uh so i just wanted to do a little mini book haul from him so the first book is the collector by by john fowles and he of course got me the movie with it so like you see you see what i mean um, <laughs> this looks kind of terrifying, but I'm very interested to see what it's about. We got Paper Moon and Addie Prey by, uh, Joe David Brown. I, I kind of want to do, like, a whole series where I, like, read these books and watch these movies. That one, we got Elephant Walk, which I love the cover of this. I think this is so pretty, that design. Um, so this is Elephant Walk by Robert Standish. This is from 1949. Wow, it's, I just, like, <laughs> I think design-wise this one's my favorite book because, so you have this simple design and the edges, um, what are they called? Deckled? Deckled edges? Um, and like the chapter dividers are super cool. Uh, up next we have Lever to Heaven with the book, book and movie. Um, I always, <laughs> I love in like these old movies the poses that they take. So this is Leave Her to Heaven by Ben Ames Williams. Oh this is interesting. There's like a note on here that says this book has not been condensed. Its bulk is less because government regulations prohibit use of heavier paper. What year is this from? I don't know. We have Now Voyager by Olive Higgins Prouty. Prouty? And the movie with Betty Davis. I love, I love her. Again, just like, look at, look at her face. Oh, she could kill a man with that look. And the last one is Mildred Pierce with Joan Crawford. It has Joan Crawford in it. And the book with three of the author's books, stories, James M. Cain. So we have The Postman Always Rings Twice, Mildred Pierce, and Double in Indemnity? Indemnity? Indemnity. In Why can I not pronounce that word right there? Why can I not pronounce that word? Indemn? Ind 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 I'm gonna look that up later. This came from the library of Mary Jean Thomas. Thank you, Mary Jean Thomas. Ooh, I like the um, naked cover. Oh, and it has sprayed edges here. This has sprayed edges. And then this is the naked cover of that one. Oh, I'm so excited about these. Uh, I'm so excited. Would you guys be, I kind of am thinking about doing like a, a series of reading these books and watching the movie. It'll take me some time. 
for sure. But I think I think that might be in the future. Um, I also got I also went to we had to go to Habitat for Humanity because I needed a new desk chair. And then they had books right next to the checkout. And they had this copy of Anna Green Gables. Anna Green Gables is like one of my favorite books. I absolutely adore Anne. Anne was like she was my girl growing up. Like I would watch the Megan Follows uh, miniseries all the freaking time. Like Gilbert Blythe was my first like fictional crush. Probably. I absolutely totally adore him. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a really cool addition. So in it was like this um, Reader's Digest, this like little pamphlet talking about the book, which is really cool. And Includes Ellen, a picture of like Ellen Montgomery, which is a really pretty one. So here's like an illustration of Anne. Um, there's a really pretty one when they're going through Lover's Lane. All the way the blossoms with Green Gables right there. Isn't that so pretty? Reading wise, I finished Spin the Dawn. Uh, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. I like the magic system. I think the magic system is very interesting and it it's cool because it's another one of those books that relies on um, like it has kind of the gods and then it also has like a whole separate like enchanter magic type deal. So it's a lot of different types of magic spinning into one which I always think is really fascinating and then uh, I haven't read any more of Percy Jackson because I'm the worst I'm not I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna actually finish all these I don't know I'll try and get like halfway through this one tonight get to the halfway point I was only like a quarter into it so I'll try and get to the halfway point I doubt I'm going to finish it because it's already like 11 p.m. and I have to go grocery shopping tomorrow. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. I do have faith in myself that like I'll read them all. It's just taking me a lot longer than I anticipated and I don't like that. Hello, good morning, and happy Friday. I'm about halfway through The Lost Hero gonna finish that and hopefully get maybe halfway through um son of neptune that's the next one so hopefully i'll get halfway through that yeah yeah i think i have i have a video to film so that'll be fun and uh other than that it's a pretty chill day so. hello good morning and happy saturday um so last night i officially finished the lost hero i stayed up way too late i'm <laughs> finishing that and then I um, am about like 15% into Son of Neptune. Um, I decided to, I went on Libby and Son of Neptune and then House of Hades and Blood of Olympus were all on audiobook, available on audiobook. So I decided to check those out. So I still have to read Mark of Athena physically, but my brain is just not focusing right now. I, <laughs> these books that should have taken me like not that long to read, especially like the first Percy Jackson series and all that, it just, it took way longer for me to read than it should. Even though I am like, I'm definitely a slower reader um, just because, <laughs> which it's, it's always been so funny to me because I'm, I read so much but I, I am a slower reader just because I, I have a hard time focusing. <laughs> I really enjoyed Lost Hero. Uh, I, I love, I mean, I was definitely like that Greek mythology kid growing up. My dad is like super into like art history and stuff. So I grew up going to museums and when you go to museums, you tend to learn a lot about Greek mythology. It was very, it's very fun looking at like the Greek mythology and the Roman mythology and seeing those like comparisons. Um, especially like I took uh, a couple like art history classes myself in college. And so, uh, like we we studied a lot of that in my classes because our classes were my classes specifically on Pompeii, so <laughs> which is so it's such like a, a specific niche thing, but it's really cool because 
with Pompeii, everything was like preserved because of all the ash, all the volcano ash. And so uh, when they like excavate things, there's like things that are like perfectly preserved, which is absolutely crazy. Yeah, and that was just a very, it was a very interesting area because it was a, it was right on the bay, right on the bay of Naples. And so it was a huge trading area. So you had, they believe it was like settled by the Greeks and then there was Roman and then also a lot of Egyptian. So you had all three. It's just really neat. It's really cool. But yeah, so my plan for today is to finish Son of Neptune. Um, my audiobook is about, I listened to a double speed, so it's about like seven hours. So I'm gonna finish that and then get started on Mark of Athena. We'll, we'll go from there. <laughs> so I've officially finished Son of Neptune, which is as far as I've ever gotten in the, um, in the series. So uh, I'm very excited. I am just about to start uh, the Mark of Athena is the next one. Um, so I'm just about to start that. I think I can get probably not halfway through these books are so long they're like 15 hours so I listen to them on double time so it's like seven hours um yeah so I'll probably get like two three hours in um and then finish it up tomorrow and then maybe maybe get to the next one that would only that would leave the last one for Monday just in time for the last day of August. I'm going to finish these just in time. Hello, good morning, and happy Sunday. It is Sunday. So I am a little over halfway through Mark of Athena, so I'm gonna finish that. I think I have two, two or three hours left of it. Um, probably closer to three hours left. So I'm going to finish that up and move on to House of Hades. Um, I am making such good progress. I'm very glad I decided to switch over to um, audiobook because just my brain was not focusing on uh, <laughs> physically reading. It just was not happening for me. So um, glad I did that little switch over. I'm on my way to Target to pick up some essentials and then also maybe some crafts because I, I need things to do while I'm listening to these audiobooks. I'm so used to, uh, normally when I listen to audiobooks, I'm like going to work, I'm commuting places, but right now because I'm not going anywhere, I need something to do instead of just scrolling on my phone. So. That's what we're up to right now. Hello, so I uh, actually ended up going to Michael's um, and I got some fun things. First of all, I got a journal because I've been wanting to um, keep track of my reading more like physically and stuff. So I figured since it's almost a new month, I would start here. So I got a like, it's like a bullet journal, only it's not, and I had no idea Michael's carried these, so I'm very excited to start journaling. Um, I'll definitely be <laughs> watching lots of people's plan with me videos. Um, I also ended up getting yarn and a crochet hook. I used to crochet like all the time in like Girl Scouts and stuff, so I'm excited to uh, maybe I'll try and like make a scarf or something. We'll see what happens, or I'll just do what I used to do and just crochet one long chain. It's weirdly calming. I've just finished uh, Mark of Athena and I am emotional. Um, I'm really enjoying this series because all the characters are older and it is more of that continuous storyline versus like the Percy Jackson series where it was like every summer or like one winter thrown in there. So it's like broken up with lots of months in between. Um, so I'm really enjoying the like continuous storyline and just the stakes are so much higher um, in this one. The one thing that I will say that I'm not as big a fan of though um, is the romance. I mean Percy and Annabeth, solid. Love them. All the other things going on though, I have a lot of mixed feelings. Namely the like there's an 
kind of unnecessary love triangle that I'm not I'm not buying any of the chemistries happening yeah so we'll see but I'm gonna start on um oh, the the house of Hades I'm starting on house of Hades now it's currently like 5 45 ish um so I should it's about seven hours it's gonna be about seven hours um so I should be done probably around one or two in the morning <laughs> I'm just gonna listen to it all the way through. I, I gotta finish it. Hello, happy Monday, and uh, it is August 31st, so it's the last day of August. I am on the last Heroes of Olympus book. Um, I think I should be, if I just listen to it straight through, I don't stop or get distracted by anything, I should be done around like 8.30, 9 o'clock tonight. So we are squeaking in right at the end of the month, um, but I think I'm actually gonna do it. I think I'm actually gonna finish. I also realized I never read Matilda, which is a book I said I was gonna read. So after I finish this, I'll try and read that one. We'll see how it goes. I have an ebook copy of it. So um, we'll see if I finish that one. If I don't finish that one, Oh well, at least I finished all the like Percy Jackson books I had planned. Honestly, I'm impressed I made it this far. <laughs> um, also with the Mark of Athena, that was officially my 90th book this year. That's crazy. <laughs> right at nine o'clock right when I thought um <sighs> so my thoughts basically I just I absolutely adore these characters I think that Rick Riordan did such a good job of making you care about like absolutely everybody and Oh, I, like, things were predictable, but, like, not in a, okay, then this is gonna happen type of way, but in just a, like, <laughs> you could start to figure things out, and as you figured things out with the characters, it was like, oh my god. <laughs> I just, I love, I love all the characters. I love seeing their development from, like, seeing, like, Percy and Annabeth's development from book one. Um, I'm sad there was like no Grover in these books. It makes sense why, but I love Grover um, and I missed him a lot. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to like spoil anything for anyone who's like hasn't read these books and wants to. Yeah, seeing Percy and Annabeth's development, I would die for Nico D'Angelo. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I wasn't too sure if I would pick up the, the Trials of Apollo, which I guess is the third and final, like, series, um, with the, like, here, the, the Olympus universe, the Percy Jackson universe, um, but after, after this, I need to, because I'm pretty sure, like, a couple of the characters are in there, too, um, specifically Nico D'Angelo, and I love him so much. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> favorite little goth boy. I'm very emotional and I can't believe that I actually finished these books. It is nine o'clock. Um, I did get started on like a scarf, I think is what this is. <laughs> I don't know if this, maybe it'll work as a scarf. It got like twisted at some point and I don't know how that happened, but oh well. <laughs> we'll see what I actually make of this. I might try and finish Matilda just to say that I actually did. I don't think that one's very long so I feel like I can read that one and say that I actually did finish all the books on my TBR. 
So I'm gonna try and do that. Normally I do vlog, I finish my vlogs on Tuesdays. I think I'm gonna, you know what? I think I'm just gonna finish up this vlog tonight and you'll have to watch my uh, August reading wrap up to see if I actually finish Matilda. So on that note, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, I post bookish content every Monday and Thursday, so be sure to hit subscribe and turn on that little bell icon so you get a notification every single time I post. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and until next time, bye!